Welcome to the Howard T. Collins Memorial Scholarship Award Ceremony. At Eden, we believe that home is just the beginning. Safe and affordable homes provide the foundation that allow communities to thrive. And programs like the Howard T. Collins Scholarship provide an additional step forward. Welcome to the virtual celebration of the 31st annual Howard T. Collins Memorial Scholarship Awards. Today, I'm joined by Linda Mandolini, President and CEO of Eaton Housing. We are here to celebrate 34 remarkable residents who will be receiving $107,779 in scholarship funds. When we invest in our residents' higher education dreams, the benefits are felt far beyond their individual accomplishment. Their families are more stable, their long-term career prospects improve, and our communities thrive. We are very excited to announce that this year we are celebrating an incredible milestone for the Howard T. Collins Memorial Scholarship Program. Since its inception, Eaton has provided over $1 million to more than 620 inspiring residents. We are fortunate to have some very special guests join us today via video and a few who are celebrating with us in person. Joining us here in Hercules, California, we welcome one of this year's scholarship recipients, Monica Chicas. My name is Monica Chicas. I'm going to Cal State East Bay in Hayward. I remember that I received an email years before always inviting us to apply. And back then I used to go to um, Contra Costa College, but I didn't. I, I was only taking one class here, two classes next semester. It was very irregular, and that's why I didn't apply before. Um, and this time I decided because I saw the increase <laughs> in, yeah, with the tuition. So um, I remember that I emailed the people here, and they actually went to my unit and handed it to me. Yeah, they printed it off, and they handed it to me. The change was also that I I am now a full-time student. Before, like I told you, I was part-time or some semesters I didn't even attend college. But now because I was committed to do it, it made, yeah, that made a difference. Before my son was very little, now he's a high schooler. So now I can dedicate that time. He's not a baby, he doesn't need that care from mom anymore. And that's why the time and you know, I'm, I feel like I'm in a better position right now to make those kind of decisions and commitments. Yes, actually it took me 10 years just to get my AA, my associate's degree from Contra Costa College. It took me 10 years. Yeah, so now I'm committed to doing it in two years. I feel like I have more support. Very lucky, less honor um, to able to have that help that I need it and that it will be used for a good purpose. So it's a, a big relief mentally that, hey, there, you know, you can cover this much of expenses. You can use it for whatever you need. So you don't have to worry about that while you can focus just on doing your assignments, attending classes, and that's a big help. It helps to your self-esteem too. It makes me feel privileged. Um, special that they chose me, uh, I feel honored. Adam Farag, Adeline Leon Epolito, Alberto Salgado Nava, Alicia Freeman, Antonio Persino, Ariel Brown, Aritza Jimenez, Arlene Tenoco, Carlos Falcon Valencia, Christina Tyler, DJ Carter, Devon Gordon, Diana Pinson, Gabriela and Reda Mendoza, Hannah Mendoza, 
Jacqueline Garcia, Jairo Ortiz Ayala, Jennifer Santiago, Jennifer Alejandra, Jonathan Cornejo, Jose Barria Hurtado, Josefina Lopez, Kaya Harrison, Kevin Gutierrez, Kimberly Cuevas, Leslie Santiago, Marlene Caroca, Milka Elvira Chacon, Monica Chicas, Muafeka Mohammed, Quinn Nguyen, Ronald Willis, Samantha Rivera, and Valerie Arisa Martinez. Thank you, Calvin, for welcoming us all today and for your work as the chair of our scholarship committee. We'd like to acknowledge you and thank you for your long service as the chair of our committee. Under your tenure, this program has grown and evolved, and we thank you for your dedication to Eden's residence and its mission. This is your last year as chair of the committee, and so we want to thank you for championing all of our achievements in this program. Without you, we wouldn't be here today, and we have a little something to commemorate your time as committee chair. Thank you, Linda. It's really been a privilege. I'd also like to thank our elected representatives for championing the achievements of Eden's residents and helping to make it possible for Eden to provide more homes for more families and individuals in need. A very special thank you to our partners and sponsors. Your partnership and contributions help not only make Eden's goals a reality, but go a long way in realizing the dreams of Eden's residents in their many educational and professional endeavors. Again, thank you all for your support. Hello, I'm Lisa Gutierrez, Senior Vice President of U.S. Bank. On behalf of the entire U.S. Bank team, we want to send our deepest congratulations to the Howard T. Collins Scholarship Fund recipients. We applaud Eden for their commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, and supporting the next generation of emerging leaders. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I would like to express my gratitude and appreciation for this scholarship. It is an amazing opportunity that will support me financially throughout my educational journey as a software engineer. I would like to also thank the Eden Housing community for their wonderful support and also my family and friends. Without all of them, I would this would not be possible. I am currently pursuing a career in software engineering because I'm passionate about creating innovative solutions and products for people that one day will impact society as a, a whole. And it's a, an amazing field because it enables my problem solving skills and creativity. I enjoy solving complex, complex problems and coming up with solutions that are unique. And this field has allowed me to not only apply that in the field itself, but also outside of in the real world, in everyday problems, it allows me to solve from simple to more complicated problems. And um, overall, I would like to express my gratitude for the scholarship as it has allowed me to push through my m many obstacles and most importantly, financially. Um, and I would just like to say thank you once again. Hi, it's Mayor Juan Gonzalez with congratulations for Christina, Jonathan, and Ronald. Congratulations on your scholarships. I think it's pretty cool that we've got members from our community who show their kindness by contributing and in, in thinking about the future. And they see you as offering that potential to make this world a better place. So make sure to take this uh, scholarship money and go out into the world and make that difference. Learn what you need to learn, be the best that you can be, and certainly think about working for the city of San Leandro. Have a great day and congratulations. Hi, Kimberly, Jennifer, and Carlos. I wanna wish you congratulations on being recipients of the uh, Eden Scholarship. 
it's really uh, an honor to be able to share this moment with you. You've worked really hard to get to where you are. And I uh, just want to let you know that we in the community are proud of you. We congratulate you as you go on your next uh, journey, educational journey. Um, I know that uh, Jennifer and Carlos, you're looking to get your bachelor's degrees and um, uh, important to both at UC Santa Barbara and at Western Governors University. And Kimberly, wish you the best of luck at the University of Denver uh, as you pursue your uh, master's. Uh, really congratulations to all of you. So uh, glad that you believe so much in education and continuing your higher education. Uh, it's what's gotten me to where I am. So I'm proud that people from our community and families from our communities are doing the same. I look forward to everything that you're gonna accomplish and thank you for letting me share this moment with you. Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Panetta and I'm uh, so proud to be your United States representative for the 19th Congressional District. Uh, I wanted to take this time to personally congratulate Hannah, Gabriella, and Quinn on all that you've done, all that you've accomplished during your amazing academic careers. And as deserving recipients of scholarships from Eden Housing and the Howard T. Collins Memorial Scholarship Program, you are our future. And so right now, as young leaders in our community, you've already demonstrated what it takes to lead, to persevere, and showing your determination and focus in order to excel and to reach your ultimate goal of attending college. Expanding opportunity in Santa Clara County and in Santa Cruz County and throughout California's 19th Congressional District means recognizing that everything from quality, affordable housing to college and career pathways are really kind of connected. And so as your representative in the United States Congress, please know that I'm committed to working alongside community organizations like Eden Housing and even families like yours to ensure that everyone, everyone can pursue their dreams in nursing, public health, biochemistry, and so many other exciting fields. You've already made your community and families very, very proud with all that you've done and will continue to achieve, to achieve as you embark on your next chapter. Uh, as you continue your studies though, please know that I encourage you to continue giving back to the community and country that has given you so much and continues to cheer you on. So congratulations again to Hannah, Gabriella, and Quinn. Can't wait to see what you will continue to do. And we look forward to seeing you back in the 19th Congressional District. Congratulations. Alicia, Devin, Ariel, and Monica, I just wanna say a huge congratulations upon receiving your scholarship from Eden Housing. I know you may not always feel this way, but let me tell you one thing. You all are the embodiment of the American dream. And don't ever forget what kind of power and purpose you can have and how you can change your community, how you can change this state and how you can change this country. We have so much belief in you. We want you to go out there, go to college, pursue your dreams, become your best self. I believe in you, we believe in you, and I'm so excited to see what you do. So enjoy your college experience. I'm sure it's not always been easy, but we are here, we have your back, we're excited about your future, and I just wanted to say a huge congratulations. Best of luck to you, please let me know if I can ever be of service to you. Thank you so much and have a good one. Hi everyone, I'm Assemblymember Damon Connolly, and I'm thrilled to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the remarkable scholarship recipients from Eden Housing in Assembly District 12. By investing in these bright minds, we're empowering them to turn their dreams of attending college into reality. Congratulations to Valerie Ariza Martinez, who will be pursuing a nursing degree at San Francisco State. Antonio Brasino, who will be pursuing a business administration degree at CSU Fullerton. Aritza Jimenez, who will study biology with a concentration in microbiology at San Francisco State. And lastly, Kevin Gutierrez, who will be pursuing a biology degree at UC Berkeley. Go Bears! As you embark on your college journeys, know that our community stands behind you, cheering you on every step of the way. Congratulations once again. My name is Christiana Marie Tyler. I was thinking about how many people have to, some people literally have to move back home to do their grad program because they can't do 
their field work or their internship and work full time. So they, you know, they don't have money for rent. They don't really have money for food and things like that. So again, really nice to, to have some visibility around that. Eden knows that real life is happening. So I appreciate that. It feels really good, I think, to be looked at as more than a resident. You know, they, I, I'm always really moved by, you know, Eden as a whole, because I can tell that they do their best to, you know, make sure the properties are nice, make sure people are, you know, feel like humanized, I guess. I've, I've seen a lot of affordable housing situations where that wasn't the case. Um, so it just feels really good to be acknowledged. You know, a lot of us have, we all have individual lives, different things going on. And it's nice that they, you know, considered students specifically as a subgroup. And um, yeah, I just feel really valued and appreciated. I think that sometimes some of us fall through the cracks. I'm seeing especially too at finding funding as a grad student, that seems to be particularly difficult, which I didn't know. Um, there's a lot of scholarships that exclude grad students, so I was really pleased to, to find that this one wasn't one of them and um, that there was no kind of pick me, choose me about who, you know, who Eden wants to help and who they want to fund. Really, it comes down to a love and commitment to people and to bettering, helping to better my community, helping to better um, society overall, helping to empower folks to do that for themselves. Um, I talked a lot about wanting to just become an advocate at the end of the day, wherever that might lead me. And a master's in social work is, is broad enough that I can do anything from counseling one-on-one -on -one folks or like even working in in the higher up ranks at a nonprofit. That's what it's about for me, really advocacy and community and public service. Thank you for joining us to celebrate these 34 individuals who through their variety of programs of study and academic pursuits are striving to make a better future for themselves and for our communities. It is through this kind of inspired determination that greatness is created. As Eden celebrates its 55th anniversary this year, we look back and reflect on the six community activists who came together in Hayward 55 years ago. In 1968, these six activists were concerned about the lack of affordable housing in Alameda County and were inspired to work towards creating a solution. They started by rehabilitating six older homes in Oakland for six families. But their next project was much larger, the development of the Josephine Lum Lodge for seniors in Hayward. We remember the commitment and innovation that drove Eden's founders 55 years ago in pursuit of changing our world one corner at a time. Eden Housing's Board of Directors allocated $100,000 in funds to this year's scholarship program. And because of the outstanding nature of this year's applicants, we exceeded this amount for a total of $107,779 in scholarships. We know there are many angles by which we can tackle the affordable housing crisis helping residents pursue their education to expand their opportunities is but one of them. On behalf of Eaton Housing and this year's Scholarship Committee, thank you for joining us to celebrate the accomplishments of our resident scholars.